Hello everybody, this is Lynette with The Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us on another one of our soapy adventures. Today is going to be a first for us. I was requested to make a soap with beef tallow. So a little bit of background, this company owns a beef processing company and she wants to be able to utilize her excess tallow in bath and body products. And if you are not aware, tallow is very, very good for your skin. It's very nourishing, um, very moisturizing. And it's a great way to be able to utilize any of the excess fat that comes off the beef. So the tallow I am using is rendered tallow. However, it still does have a beef smell to it. But after adding my olive oil and my coconut oil, castor and the my additives of kale and clay and colloidal oats it has mellowed out a little bit i may render it some more and try to get that beef smell out of it because this client would also like it to be used in lip balms and possibly candles and lotions and even though she really likes the beef smell, I'm not quite sure all clients will like the beef smell. So we are going to make this. What I'm going to be doing is she wants to have kind of a lotion, soap, lip balm, kind of a whole, um, a whole group of products that are the same scent. So we're starting out with lavender and peppermint essential oil. And I have made my own blend. And so we're just gonna be doing a lavender mint. And then the colors that we're using today are I Dream of Purple from Mad Micah's, which if you've watched our videos before, you know I use that a lot. It's a great lavender color. And then the other one we're gonna be using is the Maniacal Pea. And that's just a fun, bright spring green color. I have already added in my tallow. I've melted it down along with the coconut oil olive oil and castor oil so this is just a four ingredient batch and to my lye water i have done my lye and distilled water i didn't do anything extra like aloe vera juice i just figured it'd be easier with the tallow just to go simple um, some sodium lactate and a little bit of tessa silk and then also to this i have added two tablespoons of kale and clay and two tablespoons of colloidal oats so we are going to just see what happens. We'll split this up into three colors. I will be doing one with a little bit of white, and then we're going to be putting it into my two pound loaf mold. This particular mold is from Nurture Soap. Everything that we use here today, including our recipe, will the links will be included in the description box below. If you have the time and would like to, we would love for you to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave us a productive comment. If you would like to leave some nice words or some nice words of wisdom, we would sure appreciate that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And let's get soapin'.
And I think we're gonna put this it's, on. It's like birthing a baby, look at that. Pooping it out. <laughs> I think we're going to put it on its belly. Maybe. Oh, nope, I'll we'll have to put it on its side. Mm, it's pretty though. Mm, never do it, never do it. Just a minute. Wow, you so What scent is that? It's uh, lavender mint. Oh, it's weird. Okay, now. Here you go. Okay, it's not showing. Oh, up. wait, here. Gotta put it in the view. What? There. Okay. There you go. Ready, set, go. Oh, it's tipping. It's tipping. Okay, here. Oh, it's hard. It is so it could be so hard. <laughs> ah! Look at that nice little curly cue. All right. Ooh! Look up oh. inside. What do you do? Do you just hold it up? Oh, look at Ooh. that. Look at this one. Uh, oh. Yeah, now you can show that one. Oh, focus, focus. <laughs> Beware of the groove. This is made with beef towel. Gross. Can you smell the beef in it? We got the beef. <laughs> Bomp, bomp. You can't put that in the video though. We'll get it sued. 